Hey guys, Silent Thunder here with episode 13 of Zero to Hero. I was reposting my auctions and I ran out of gold, so it was time to uh, make a new video and empty my mailbox. Got lots of sold auctions in here. Let's get started. Sold a Face Smasher, which was a blue mace, I believe. 75 gold. Battlefield Destroyer of Agility. I'm guessing that was a weapon. Some kind of a transmog weapon. 477 gold. Buccaneer's Cord. It's about 398 gold. Uh, a pattern for just under 15. <laughs> More green dye. Formula. Large prismatic shard. This is uh, one that I bought here in chat. Pick up another one of those later. Blazing Boots. Bracers. Transmog Bracers. 358 gold. Tinker's Kit. Uh, two, two of those. Dust of Disappearance. And I sold the Simple Wood. It's bought from... Uh, I bought it from the en Enchanting Vendor. Strange Dust. Revenant Girdle. Transmog Item. 551 gold. Glimmering Mail Bracers, 280 gold. Now guys, these weren't all sold within a 24 period. Uh, it's been four days since I made the last video, I believe. Um, so I've been reposting my auctions each day. So this is kind of a combination of the sales over the four days. I haven't purchased anything new. I've just been uh, reposting my expireds. Dust of Disappearance. Uh, a bunch of stacks of two strange dust here. I'll just go through those quickly. S scouting belt of intellect. So transmog belt, 497 gold. Ooh, this one, blood scale sabadons. So that's low level blood scale. I think it's like level 15 male or something. Either way, 641 gold those sold for. Valorous chest guard, plate chest, 331. And matching legs for just under 600. Blood Knight girdle, 290. Blood Knight greaves, 890. Wow, big sales. Revenant gauntlets, 243 gold. Griffin male greaves, 300, 298. Head striker sword for 300. Vanishing powder, scouting trousers, Tom the Clear Mine, 20 gold, that was probably maybe a stack of 5, I'm guessing. Dark Crest Leg Arts, 199. Gothic Plate Helmet for 300. Uh, the Light Parchment Singles for 4 gold 69. They're only a couple copper to buy. Home of the Clear Mine. Two, three, four of those. More Tome of the Clear Mines. That's a good seller. <laughs> Greater Magic Essences. Two of those. Some Vanishing Powder. Uh, salt. <laughs> Five Salt. Bought from the vendor. Vanishing powder, crystal vials, singles, Tome of the Clear Mine, Lesser Magic Essence, some Strange Dust, a stack of 20 Tome of the Clear Mines, Righteous Leg Guards, <clears throat> Leggings, Transmog, Leather. 234 gold. Lesser Magic Essences. Tome of the Clear Mine. Is that it? That's it. Look at that. Up to 7,235 gold. Not too bad. This should give me enough to uh, finish reposting my auctions here. And I will be able to do my transmog search before I run around and restock my vendor stuff. 
get this stuff reposted. I still have some other stuff on there that I, I managed to get reposted, but uh, like I said, I ran out of gold. So I wanted to make the next video. Alright, I'm going to repost the stuff in my bags, and then I'm going to skip ahead to once I've completed my transmog search, and I'll go through that with you guys so you can see what I pick up. Alright guys, I'm back. My scan has finished. Start buying up some of this stuff, starting with Huntsman's Belt. Uh, Amber Silk Bracers. I don't think they're a great seller, but they're only 3 gold, so I'm going to pick them up anyway. Same with the Gossamer Pants for 5. Ring Mail. I already have one of those. I think I'll skip it. It's not that popular, but Bandit Gloves is a good one for 9 gold. I have two of those, so I'll skip it. Master Shield. Warmongers. Revenant gear usually sells well, so I'll make sure I get that. Spiked chain. Some of this stuff is kind of slow sellers, like this nether stalker and stuff. Doesn't sell that fast, but I don't have any of it, so. Uh, it's only around 20 gold a piece, so I'd like to pick up and have at least one piece of each available for now. Cleft off. Shield. What else do we have? Baron's broadsword. fan bracers and I also went over uh, I'm gonna pick up my second profession today uh, it seems like the one that got the most votes was jewel crafting so I'm gonna pick up jewel crafting as my second profession and uh, get started leveling that today as well I think should have uh, enough gold left over to get started on it if I don't go too crazy here with the transmog Boots, a couple of those. Sparkle shell belt. This oath keeper, uh, that's kind of hit and miss. It's kind of a common item. I mean, it looks looks nice. It's blue, but uh, it's very common. So just be careful with that one because it does have a high vendor price, which means it would have a high posting fee as well. So it might be worth trying. I mean, I've sold them in the past, but uh, I tend to avoid it now just because it's so common. Sages. All kinds of gold left. Wow. Revenant. Field plate, level 40 plate is usually safe, uh, I mean if it has some decent stats. Spirit stamina isn't the greatest, but I'm going to pick them up anyway. Uh, level 40 is when um, plate classes can learn to use plate gear, so that's when it becomes available to them. So even if I have two, pl two pieces of level 40, you know, 40 to 45 plate, if I see another piece that has decent stats, I'll typically pick it up anyway. Because if somebody doesn't buy it for transmog, it's a good chance somebody will buy it to use it. <clears throat> Tricksters. I 
it's a different welcome. I'm gonna pass on that again. High vendor price, high high posting price. I don't normally get too too involved in the level 90 uh, transmog here. Just personal preference. I like to avoid it because if it doesn't turn over quick, it can cost you quite a bit to keep reposting it. Bracers. And a lot of people avoid the bracers, and as you've seen from me taking out my mail there, quite a few bracers. Or I, I had sold a few bracers, and one of them for a few hundred gold for sure, so. I don't mind dealing in bracers. It's like roads. You can hear my TSM add on updating in the background. <laughs> Righteous gloves. Heroes leggings. That's, the, I believe, the most rare piece of the hero set is the legs. Buying some of the more expensive pieces now. Which in the future I may skip, but I, I want to get at least one of each piece available. So far, my technique has been working out. The gold is climbing. I'll just buy one of those. Silver thread. Another hero's leggings, so I'll buy them both. Gold's dropping quick. Bandit pants? Bandit gear is usually pretty good. The bandit pants don't sell that quick, but I'll pick them up anyway. I think that's going to be it for that stuff. I'm going to try a quick vendor search, see if there's anything on the auction house that I can buy and sell to a vendor for a profit. And a few things showing up already, like this is selling for 37 copper and I can sell it to a vendor for 5, five silver. Um, this one selling for 3 gold, I can sell it to a vendor for 4 gold 45. Not huge profits, but it's it's still profit and I can pick those up and flip them for some easy coin or I can disenchant some of them later maybe and as long as well once you're up to 100% it's almost not worthwhile like this one's 4 gold 98 uh, so it would be 2 silver not so much worthwhile, even this is kind of getting there. I think I'll skip those. And I would like to do a disenchant search, but I'm not high enough level yet. Um, what this would do is find things on the auction house that you can disenchant uh, that's below the map price value. So if you wanted to find some extremely good deals on items that you can disenchant and sell the mats, uh, it's a great feature. I'm glad they put it back in. I think think it was out up until recently. I'll collect this stuff and repost it and sell some of that vendor stuff. And uh, I'm gonna get my way back to Stormwind. I think there might be a jewel crafting trainer in Shat. I'm not familiar with Shat that well. Oh yeah, maybe down by uh, where I picked up the recipes and stuff to sell. Do a post scan. Alright, I'm going to get the stuff reposted. 
uh, get my mailbox empty again and uh, skip ahead just to try to keep this video a little bit shorter. Alright guys, I'm back. I've gathered up some stuff from the vendors in chat. Um, I picked up more of these enchanting recipes, which are limited supply. You can buy one of each. Um, I bought some enchanting mats from the vendor there and a couple from the vendor here at the shrine. Um, I picked up two stacks of enchanting vellums. I may try to sell some, but I may use some as well. Um, three stacks of Tome of the Clear Mines. Uh, stacks have been selling as well as the singles, so I bought even more this time. Dusted Disappearance of Vanishing Powder. Um, Elemental Blasting Powder that was on the Engineering Supplies vendor. Limited supply, I could only buy one, but I figured I'd pick that up. Uh, same with a handful of Fell Iron Bolts. And uh, the schematic also came from Shat from the Engineering vendor. And a couple more Light Parchment. Five Tinker's Kits. Uh, the die that I sold. And then also I noticed that there was a blacksmithing supplies vendor there kind of tucked away in the back and I was able to pick up four recipes from him at uh, I forget how much they were not not a lot uh, a few gold a piece so I'll try to flip those and then I bought three stacks of coal because coal has been selling very well uh, the five simple wood and uh, here in the shrine I picked up two more plain wooden staffs since I sold the last one and five crystal vials and I'm also gonna throw on some jeweler settings so I bought those and now I'm here at this vendor in the shrine the cooking ingredients vendor and what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna pick up five of each of these food and I'm going to sell those on the auction house, the cooking ingredients. A simple thing, I've gone over this in one of my past videos as well. Uh, but I figured I would add it to my, my routine here on this too. More stock, more things to sell. So I picked up five of each of those. And now I'm going to make my way to Stormwind and do some training, maybe buy some more shirts. So I'll pick it up again there. Alright guys, I'm back. At the last minute, I decided to go to Darnassus instead of to Stormwind. Uh, just so that I could stop in to the Craftsman area, Craftsman Terrace. I visited all the little vendors and managed to pick up a few new things uh, from the engineering guy. I got the silver contacts, three of them, and two bronze tubes. Um, managed to get a greater rage potion recipe. There was two of those available, so I bought those. Um, I made my copper rod, ruined copper rod for enchanting. I also learned jewel crafting while I was here. Um, Enchant bracer dodge from the vendor, so I can sell that. And then a soul bound one for myself later on. And Amulet of the Moon, Greater Adept's Robe, Orange Marital Shirt, and Blue Linen Robe. And these were limited supply. And I actually got the, these last few from, I guess it was the tailoring, but uh, which one? The Enchanting Recipes, I think. Let's see. Yeah, the enchanting recipes, I believe, as well as this amulet of the moon, actually came from the the general goods vendor, which was here somewhere. Anyway, I, I just recommend that you go around to all the little vendors in this area and just buy up everything you can that's limited supply, and uh, try to post it on the auction house for as much as possible. I also bought some more salt while I was at the leatherworking vendor. And that's about it for now. I'm all restocked here. I'm going to get the stuff on the auction house and maybe level up my jewel crafting just a little bit. Um, maybe I'll do a, a disenchant search and see if I can find some more greens. So maybe I'll go over the auction house, get this stuff posted, and uh, search for those uh, disenchantable goods that I can disenchant and get some strange dust to help level up my enchanting and maybe I'll catch you guys up again there. Alright guys, I'm back. I've leveled up my enchanting. 
all the way to 75, which is high as I can get it now. Um, I managed to level up my jewel crafting to 54 for now, for the moment. Um, I did the disenchant search on strange dust, as well as the copper rings that I made with my jewel crafting. I disenchanted those, and I have some mats left over, which I'm just going to sell. I still have gold sitting around. I hate sitting on gold because, uh, well, it's not going to make you anything sitting in your bags. I'd rather have it spent and build my stock. So I did have a look on the Undermine Journal website and uh, looked up a few items that I could buy. Uh, when I'm buying items, I look for things that are far to the left and uh, preferably only one available. Sometimes two, I'll buy them both out. And this is found on the Great Deals section here. And uh, so I bought a few items. I bought these bracers for 50 gold that I'm going to try to flip. Uh, these bracers for 50 gold, same thing. I'm going to try to flip them. The black skull shield I bought for 100 gold. Oat runners I found on there for 48 silver. Uh, this is a transmog item, a valuable one, so I bought that right away. Uh, a level 78 um, neck piece, bought it for 25 gold, and try to flip it. Same with this design, I paid 45 gold for it, there was only one available. Uh, it has a higher market value, so hopefully I can flip that. And this tome, uh, I wasn't familiar with what it was, Tome of Teleport Dalaran. So I looked it up, seems interesting, it teleports you to Old Dalaran, and then you fall from the sky, I guess, and need to slow fall. So, I bought that for 150 gold, I'm going to try to sell that as well. Uh, that might be a hard sell, unless somebody knows what they're looking for, but we'll see. So I bought those items, I'm just going to post them on the auction house here. Start with selling this dust, I have like nine stacks of 20. And I'm going to undercut the stack of 20 on those. And a stack of 12 left over. Eight of these. Wow, they're high. Nice to sell those. I just post my uh, essences in singles. I find that's the easiest way to sell them. These are really high as well. Wow. Nice to sell a few. And again, I'm going to post them all in singles just because that's what I find sells when it comes to these essences. Now, put some of these on the auction house. I might try a stack as well. Since I didn't use any yet, I'll try to sell those. Uh, I've been using that. So I bought these for 50. I'm going to try for 300 gold. Same with these ones. This black skull shield is actually in my transmog group. I paid just over 100 gold for it. Uh, it says my normal price is 447 gold, so I'm just going to post it at that. That was in my transmog group. I'm going to undercut this guy. The Swamp Light Amulet I bought for 25 gold. I'm going to try for 150. This design, I paid 45 gold for it. I'm going to try for 299. And this book, this unusual item, bought it for 150. I'm going to try for. 999. I'm go for a thousand gold. I'm gonna post this for 48 hours on this one. So don't imagine anybody's gonna have one of those available soon to undercut me. And I think that's gonna be about it for today. I hate sitting on 3,000 gold, but if there's nothing to buy, maybe I'll look at some recipes. Sort of by lowest price. Maybe I'll just pick up a few of these that are cheap and try to flip them. Uh, 
There's three of those, so I'm going to skip that for now. Same with that. Some of these other ones that's, that there's only one or two available of. Maybe I'll buy them up. This is not going to get rid of my gold that quickly, but... Gives me something to try to sell. I'm just going to put these all in one group, and I'm going to buy anything under 5 gold and try to resell it for 5 gold to 299 gold, depending on what's available on the auction house. There's two of these. I think I'll buy them both. Now, a lot of these are probably just from vendors and whatnot, but I'm just going to take my chances anyway. It's five gold that's right on my limit. <clears throat> There's three of those. Red linen robe. Phoenix pants. Not familiar with that name. Maybe I'll buy that, even though it's nine gold. Enchant formula. I know that's a vendor one, but just gonna buy out a bunch of stuff under five gold and repost it. Except for that one that I spent nine gold on. And what I do with these is I just make one bulk group under my trade skill master. I find it here in this mess. <laughs> Recipes, and I make one bulk group. And I know I have 5 gold to 149 gold, but I actually have these set to uh, 299 gold. 5 gold to 299 gold at the moment. I'm just going to put all these recipes in here that I just bought. It was only one that I paid over five gold for. And hopefully when I do a post scan, some of them get posted at the 299. That one is and that one. Looks like I'm looks like I picked up a few that uh, there's only a couple of available, so. And really, I only need to sell one of those to pay for them all. Alright, so that's a bit more gold invested. Don't think there's anything else that I can really uh, get into now. I don't know much about the pet market, so I'm going to avoid that one. I think, I think that's good enough for today, and I'll just sit on this gold. Maybe I'll buy some bigger bags at some point here. Um, but for now, I'm going to call it there. I spent quite a bit of time today. I know I, I skipped a lot of stuff, but that's just to keep the video short as possible. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. I will link my live stream down below if you ever have any questions. Stop by and see me.